from the footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you an NFL week three preview between the Denver Broncos and the Tennessee Titans. Now let's start with Denver in this matchup. Offensively, the discipline has to improve. Penalties are killing the Broncos, both on the defensive side of the football as well, but we're talking offense here. False starts, holdings, that has to improve. That's what's stalling drives and styming progress. Also, I look at the fact that more Decker is good, a good thing for the Broncos. Getting Eric Decker involved, I like him coming out of college. This guy is an amazing playmaker and can high point a football in the air. So I like that about their offense. If they can get him involved, and they're hurting at the wide receiver spot uh, right now, but Decker will be an uh, added element to that offense once you get him more integrated. And I think you should lean on the running game this week. Speaking to the Broncos, McGahee rushed for 100 yards last week. Moreno may be back, so now you have a one-two combo. Lean on that running game. And that's You don't want Kyle Orton throwing the football 30 to 35 times a game. Defensively, rookie Von Miller is playing outstanding. He has to control the edge this week. It's up to him to seal the edge and force the run back into the his help. If he can control the edge against the Titans ground game, Chris Johnson will get bottled up and he won't get to the corner with that speed and he won't hit the cutback. And delayed pressure versus Tim uh, Mike uh, Hasselbeck back there. Uh, if you can get delayed pressure on him with those delayed blitzes, that's going to prove to be a huge asset in stopping the passing game. Matt Hasselbeck is his name. Delayed pressure, delayed blitzes is going to prove to be a huge success for their Broncos offense, uh, uh, defense. Now you look at the Titans coming to this matchup. Tennessee did a great job last week throwing the football surprisingly. And Hasselbeck had a great game over 300 yards passing, a lot of deep passes. So they really stressed the field vertically. If they can continue to improve in the pass game, and I said this in week one, the timing will improve as the weeks progress. So look for them to keep with that timing, but red zone offense, offense and finishing drives is crucial. They could have really blown out the Ravens last week if they finished in the red zone. They had struggled last week. They have to come in this week and make sure they finish drives. Chris Johnson in the passing game, if he's struggling in the running game, get him the football on screens, dump offs. Do what you have to do to get your best playmaker offensively the football in his hands. Get him the football in the passing game and he can have some success and it may open up the, the ground game. Now, defensively, continue the same defensive aggressiveness. We saw a Derek Morgan sighting. That guy is outstanding. If he can come to play week in, week out, they got him a gem at that first, former first round draft selection. So continue staying aggressive defensively. The secondary is always going to be aggressive and they're going to be even more aggressive against a weakened Broncos secondary. And zone blitz to effectiveness. Kyle Orton is a guy that struggles with the zone blitz. If you can effectively confuse Orton back there just for half a second, you're going to find yourself being able to come away with a lot of interceptions or a lot of batted balls uh, at the line of scrimmage. Confuse Orton by utilizing those zone blitzes effectively and I have full confidence in that Titans defensive line stonewalling uh, Orton at the line of scrimmage. Now let's take a look at some X factors. And, you know in these ball games we always talk about X factors who has the advantage. The biggest X factor I see for the Denver Broncos has to be Von Miller. It's going to be up to him to seal the edge and that's vital against a team that loves to run that zone and that stretch like the Tennessee Titans. If he controls the edge against this team, they can have some success defensively. The X factor for the Tennessee Titans has to be Chris Johnson. You have to find a way to create balance. If they can create balance with Johnson running the football, they're going to be tough to beat throughout the season because they're going to continuously get better. I'm going with Tennessee at home. I like what I saw last week against the Ravens. Maybe they just matched up well against the Ravens, but I also believe they match up well against a weakened Broncos passing game. And I think the passing game that showed last week against the Ravens for the Titans can have some success against the Broncos as well. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan. And listen to the Football Game Plan radio show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern time at blogtalkradio.com slash footballgameplan.